Hi Coffee Beans, hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves. So when I first started this channel, the whole idea was people having like, um, I want to say a big sister, but then that's kind of corny. But then like you guys get me like a big sister vibe because growing up, I have mentioned this before that like I absolutely love my mom, but then there's just certain things that she didn't really go out of our way to teach us like hygiene tips. And even as I mentioned with the whole period conversation, it was just like touch and go. Like I remember that conversation was very awkward. Like I don't even know why mom wasn't just like, okay guys, you're gonna be bleeding out of your vagina. This is what you're, you're supposed to do. She was like playing around the topic. So um, because of that, I feel like I wasn't always so knowledgeable on all things hygiene and everything around that topic. And we're in an era where it seems to be the norm to like shame girls, especially I've noticed a trend actually, like as I've been releasing the videos about feminine hygiene and all of this stuff, like, it's like a norm to shame people like, oh, you're doing this. Oh, you didn't know this. Oh, you don't know this. Like, guys, we're all learning. You can never learn it all. Like, I'm actually thankful to all the YouTube girlies um, before me who put out the hygiene videos because I'd watch those and binge those and learn from them. So this video is basically encapsulating everything I've learned and delivering it to my coffee beans. So without rambling anymore, keep on watching. Okay, so my first tip is actually cleaning your belly button and behind your ears. So before, I have some besties like Clarissa, the sky is blue. Like, this is just another obvious thing. But some of us, you guys, if I was to tell you about the first time I actually took initiative to wash my belly button, it was so disgusting. Like, TMI, I really don't care because we know better now. We're doing better, but then, like, there's so much dirt. You can't just brush past your belly button. Some of, some people actually have quite, like they don't have outies, so their belly buttons go quite deep. And if you're just passing by that, imagine all the dirt that's like accumulating there. Wash your belly buttons, bestie. And then behind the ears as well, um, I've noticed that actually with body odor, it tends to like even build up here. So when you're showering, when you're bathing, when you're doing whatever you have to do in the morning, make sure you scrub behind there, which actually leads me to my next tip. SD, take out your jewelry and actually clean it. I saw a tweet the other day um, which was like, oh, you guys need to swap out your pillowcases, busy smelling like earring bags. And I'm like, you know what? We all know what, what, what they mean. We all know what they meant. You guys know how atrocious, how terrible earring bags are can actually end up smelling and some people aren't even aware of that and that's okay hence i'm here and hence you're watching um i don't know what it is hey but then like the stopper even just the whole earring as a whole tends to smell when when you go like months without taking it out and you know putting in some rubbing alcohol some spirit all up and all up into your jewelry so with your earrings besties i know there's some people who even have the whole line because sometimes you have everything clean you've exfoliated you've moisturized you've put your baccarat rouge 540 but we can still smell your ears so jewelry take it out clean it bestie so my next tip is actually my favorite because I have a weird memory of my aunt in SA coming to visit us in Botswana and she saw what I was using to wash my body and she was like, she was shook. <laughs> like her soul almost left her body. You guys, change your bath accessories. Like that time I was using like a washing rag, like a washcloth and was now like, um, I feel like slime is an exaggeration, but you know when it's like, like it's, it's not gooey, but like, Guys, no, no, I feel like everybody's gonna be like, no, not gooey, but like, you know, when it's, when it's just not clean, you know, a dirty towel, exactly. So change your wash accessories regularly. I would say, um, okay, to be honest right now, because I am in a financial position to do so, I change mine like almost every month. Um, also because I've been traveling a lot, usually I forget it. It's not like a thing that, um, you know, I want to change it out. I usually forget it at Airbnbs and stuff like that. And then I lose the wash accessory. However, three months, three months, at least bestie work with me every three months. If you're using a loofah, if you're using a, um, 
a clean logic washing rag whatever you're using change it out i actually will come in clean clean logic needs to sponsor me hold holds one clean logic needs to sponsor me y'all better go tell them if the pr manager by the grace of god is watching this video y'all need to sponsor me but then clean logic is such an amazing brand because you know how they have like the orange um tags on their wash accessories it actually starts to fade and change color and that's an indicator that it's time to change your bath accessory absolutely love those people and they actually have like an anti-bacteria kind of technology in all their wash accessories so um it's very it's less likely for bacteria to build up in them as opposed to other brands and stuff like that i don't know if they're telling the truth or if it's just a selling point but then i believe them child i trust them with my life tried and tested so um change your wash accessories regularly besties Next one is a non-negotiable. This is not one of those one what what works for me might not work for you. No, this is like across all of us, all of us, all of us guys. Deodorant is way more important than perfume. Like you could have your Baccarat 540 on and we will still smell you if you haven't started with deodorant. So deodorant actually helps to target those sweat cells and those odor cells and neutralize them so that your sweat doesn't smell because your sweat smells. If you don't put deodorant and you just spend and you just bath and you just spend your day like that, you will smell because sweat generally smells. It's the body cleaning out itself. So deodorant is a non-negotiable. I absolutely love the one by Shield. It's a dry confidence one. Um, I know that Shield actually is a very good deodorant for people who suffer from body odor. And um, my best friend actually told me about Vichy. She said that Vichy works very well for her. It's more on the pricey point because Shield is like 20 Rand, but then Vichy is more on a like... 150 but i feel like if you're really struggling with the body odor i feel like it's worth the investment it's actually something i should probably tap into but also 100 and something grand for deodorant i guys i'm not sure but then bottom line is deodorant is a non-negotiable so as a bald baddie i am so glad this is minus one maintenance um thing to do on my list but wash your braids those knotless braids, those braids, anything with extensions, any, I don't know what, who convinced us that now that you have your box braids in, it's holiday from washing your hair. No, it isn't. I remember like, and I, I feel like now as knotless braids are becoming more popular, it's even better because like knotless braids get old fast. So usually you'll have them for like a month tops and then they're out. So I feel like with the ones with the actual knot, like some people would even push three months. I would. I know in high school, my mom didn't have money to be paying a new hairstyle every single month. So I would literally keep my braids in for like the entire term. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you guys, you're not supposed to smell your braids. You see, when you first get plated, you can't smell your braids. So three months later, when there's a little whiff, you should know that something is wrong, bestie. So wash your braids. I know some people feel like... um if they wash their braids they get old faster but there's so many um youtubers who i love and and i've watched who actually have um guides and tutorials on how to wash your braids and actually refresh them that they actually look newer so it's something to give thoughts i'll link some of the videos in the description i know i always say that and i and i forget but i promise i won't um so yeah guys wash your braids if you have locks wash your locks like you need to be the effort which you put to exfoliate everything else put it here as well bestie and for all my bald girlies it also doesn't mean that we're on vacation that scalp treatment is necessary because dandruff is still a thing whether you're bald whether you've got 40 inches of hair so scalp treatments wash your hair period so H, this one is a controversial one because I'm kind of contradicting what I always say. Um, I always say that um, with hygiene and self-care, it's not a one-size-fits-all type situation. Like we all have different strokes for different folks, but then this is me and this is my recommendation and I am literally begging you to ditch the washcloth, guys ditch the washing rag those towels they are not cleaning you they aren't like you're literally just smoothing soap onto it and smoothing on your butt they are not cleaning you of course there's special cases where people have eczema or like 
skin conditions where their skin is peeling and they can't choose like the abrasive stuff but all of us with normal skin you have no excuse you have no excuse honey so i um once again clean logic i love their exfoliating um accessories but then if you can't afford that it's about it's not even expensive it's about 60 70 rand but i know it's Cyril, in Cyril's economy 60 70 rand can also be a little bit hectic so um you can actually just use a loofah even a loofah is way better than a washcloth please guys like that thing it's just not cleaning you so my next tip is to actually change out your underwear so this goes in two ways right the first is generally changing like you know instead of having the same panty for like five years <laughs> tops like try to buy yourself new underwear i also find that like i love buying new underwear new brows it's like a self-care thing for me but i know also when i was younger like i wasn't really like poking my mom to be like oh i want new underwear so i literally would have like the same pink panty from <laughs> grade four to grade seven and no guys we cannot do that because this stuff is directly in contact with like your lady parts your vagina and everything so you want to be changing that stuff out and like you know getting fresh things now and again and um i said it was one it was it could go two ways so the other way is just general day-to-day -day. like i know there's another obvious thing but then especially on the bras because this is something which I had to work on not even like long ago when I was young from like as recent as two years ago like race times like I would literally just repeat a bra repeat a bra and it's kind of like Clarissa when when last did you wash this bra <laughs> you know and you know it's a safe space I'm not even like you go ahead and drag me guys but then now I know guys don't wait for that label the white label to start looking brown cream mm -mm. no bestie let's do better guys clean throw your bras into the washing machine even if I guess with bras like let's say in winter and you're not sweating like you can even push like wearing the bra for three four times but then make sure you do you are actually washing it with underwear non-negotiable guys and you want every single time Every single time you hop into the shower, which should be at least daily, we are wearing a new underwear. That one is a, we're not negotiating on that bestie. So my next tip bestie is one I've preached before. I'm preaching it now and best believe I'll preach it again. Carrying wipes. Like I feel like as a person living on God's green earth, like I know people would make it specific to gender but no as a person on god's green earth i feel like it's just very important that you carry wipes around like you know in this i promise guys i'm not trying to be mean but you know there's certain people who um it's a safe space by the way so we we've acknowledged that we long acknowledged that so we're fine but you know how there's people who just generally have a scent of urine like just a uh, a smell or like an I was supposed to say aura what is it called like an odor of urine so with wipes right the thing is some of us we don't hydrate well I might even say we because I don't know about y'all but I'd be drinking my water like unless you have bottled water every you see I'm not even lying I have bottled water everywhere but anyways um when you don't hydrate your urine tends to be very dark yellow and very pungent like it smells really strong and even if you are hydrating sometimes you can actually just smell your urine more than on other days i don't know what the science is behind that i will not come onto this channel and lie however water break hold on mm -mm -mm. however um if you are following up with wipes after using tissue when you've gone to pee or take a dump or whatever the case may be you're making sure that you're catching any remaining smell that stays like even if you've gone through with tissue so i absolutely love wipes because they just even keep you feeling not even just smelling fresh but feeling fresh as well so i feel like wipes in your bag whenever you can guys like that's just something you should try and aim to do because sometimes you can't even smell that you're smelling of urine but then like other people around you can smell it and another good thing with the wipes is 
if you've been sweating and you don't have immediate access to the shower in the moment and you're just already feeling dirty you know like there's certain days like for me i knew um res moving days were just something so hectic because like you've been carrying all these things but then like you don't really have time to go shower before they're calling everybody to assemble you know in the hall or whatever the case may be so grab a wipe you wipe that deodorant that's now smelling or that's you know now like tweaking and then you reapply your deodorant because you don't want to reapply new deodor new and fresh deodorant over deodorant that's now smelling you literally don't like it's counterproductive you're just gonna end up smelling at the end of the day either way the topic of wipes brings me to my next point which is wash between your cheeks Guys, I feel like this is another one of those things that some people might find as an obvious thing, but other people literally just like just swipe the this is these are your cheeks, they just swipe the um whatever wash accessory they're using over it and they aren't really actually this is a very bad analogy. Let's use my hands. These two beautiful fingers of mine are your ass cheeks. This is a, some very <laughs> weirdly shaped ass cheeks, but Y'all can see it, y'all can see, focus on the ash, ash cheeks, exactly. So instead of like using your wash accessory to just wash behind, you want to open and get in there because it's counterproductive. Like you've showered, you're smelling nice, but then in there you still have all that gunk and all that smears of, what's the censored way of saying <laughs> um poo yeah smears of poo inside your, your 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 cheeks especially if you aren't choosing wipes like to wipe after taking a dump or whatever guys like there is no reason why your ass cheeks should be glued together by poo like there's literally no reason on this earth so um but like i said it's a safe space so if you didn't know it you know it now you're supposed to get in there it is your booty don't be ashamed guys it's they're your cheeks like nobody's in there with in, in the shower with you it's just you get into those cheeks honey period smell yourself and be aware of your scent all of us regardless of what's shower gel or perfume or deodorant we use we all have like a specific personal scent that we carry so once you're aware of that you're able to tell that mm, here and now something's not right like i'm able like i know i will just even tell my friends that you guys my armpits stink like Ooh, I'm hiding my armpits because they stink. I literally know when my armpits are stinking. So um, it just goes back to the thing that I'm always encouraging on my channel to know your body, whether it's in your vagina or your hair or your skin, even your pits, guys, and your scent and your smell. Just be aware because I've noticed the thing with BO initially, especially in high school, um, where people are bullying people. You know, there's always that person who people are talking behind their back like oh yeah we know um i was gonna use the same code name from the other one let's 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 find a name steve we we all know that steve smells you know and then poor steve doesn't know that everybody has branded him as the boy who smells because he's just not aware of like his body odor or like scent or whatever like you just don't smell it and sometimes that actually is the case that you may not be able to smell yourself so i would even go as far if you have like very safe friends ask your friends like i always like i'm that person who be like be is everything okay are you sure like i just feel like i'm not fresh and then she'll tell me like girl Mm -mm. Well, girl, you're good, you know? So, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, these are not things to be ashamed of. We're all learning. I'm here sharing what I, what's been working for me, but in the same breath, I'm also still learning. Like, you can never, ever know it all. If you reach a point where you feel like, yeah, yeah I know it all, just know that mm, something is not, something's not right, honey. So my next tip is actually more specific to feminine hygiene, even though that's not really the basis of this video. Like I'd like to make a more specific video to feminine hygiene tips, but then it actually is everybody who struggles with the pH of your vagina or who just wants general better vaginal health. I would suggest you hop onto any kind of cranberry 
pill like a probiotic or a supplement whatever they're called um, I used to actually be on those but then I've recently changed to this cranberry concentrate I was influenced by Belinda shout out to her because I once actually posted a story on Instagram like of my liquid fruit cranberry juice like oh my goodness apparently cranberry juice helps with vaginal health and Kulisa was like girl not that one apparently it's only the hundred percent unsweetened cranberry juice that can actually help you with that stuff so if you can't find that like i failed to find um the 100 percent one i think you can only find it like checkers and stuff i was checking at woolworths and i couldn't find it i then went and got the cranberry concentrate which belinda suggested from this chem and it's about 200 bucks and it's a big bottle and it says africa something something so i'd like to assume that it's a local product so we're all for supporting local and um yeah like if you don't want to get that you can also get the pill it's just one pill daily it's nothing too hectic and yeah guys cheers to healthy coochies another is actually cotton underwear and just letting your girly breathe i feel like this is also one of those that's more catered to the video which i'm gonna make but then i just thought to mention it now because um cotton underwear is very breathable like it's very breathable it's very loose and you don't want to always be wearing tight things that are restraining um or restricting the airflow to your coochie and to your body to your inner thighs because sometimes not even a coochie but it's just the inner thighs that are like sweaty and now in turn starting to smell and actually on the inner thighs um i would suggest like if you always have your inner thighs rubbing i would suggest that you get some baby powder or some people even put deodorant and glycolic acid i've never tried those i've only tried putting powder there and it actually did work that was when i was gaining a little weight and my thighs were rubbing but then like now on a normal day my thighs don't really rub so i'm not really doing that but then that's just a tip for um, people who do experience that and with that that's all from me besties thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the one that's more specific to feminine hygiene if you guys have more tips that you'd like to share please feel free to do so in the comments i want to hear like i said i'm still learning i can never reach a point of know it all this is just a safe space where we're all learning from each other if you have if so with some of the tips i mentioned if you tend to approach it a different way also welcome to share like i said self-care is not a one size fit all um topic like we all have things that work for us that might not work for the next person so i am 100 open open to hearing you guys' opinions thank you so much for watching i love you guys until next time